What's good fam? Agent O here and I have a thoughts video and it's something that I've been kind of rolling over my head a lot lately uh, because I've been wanting to add a different type of action figure review segment to my channel but I was kind of trying to figure out the kind of format and how I wanted to do it and I think I've got something that I think would work I, I just wanted to run it by everyone um, that you know views my channel just to get their thoughts and and ideas on on how I could possibly make it better or whether this was something that they'd even be interested in watching at all but uh, before I get into what it is I'm trying to do I'd like to first talk about the difference between an action figure review and a showcase video um, because that's part of that's a big part of what has led me to do to come up with this different segment and uh basically you know the whole reason why i got into action figure reviews was because i was watching a i was watching a review of a transformers prime optimus figure and there's been plenty that they put out that hasbro's put out during um the transformers prime cartoon series and this was just one of many but uh i was watching this review and he's by a, it was by a famous pretty well watched uh well known youtuber um i won't say who it is just because this is going to get really negative really fast but uh i will give you a hint uh if you ever watch any of vangelis's action figure reviews videos He's actually made fun of this guy on like two occasions that I know of. So if you've watched his videos consistently and you've seen you've seen the videos where he made fun of this person, um, then and if and if you know the person, because he doesn't mention the person by name either. Um, he just he talks about something this guy you does or had did on his video. I don't know what he does now because I don't watch his videos anymore. It's been it's been many a many a year since I've watched anything this guy's put out. But uh, if you watch his videos in the past and you watch Vangelis videos, then you'll know who this person is because he made fun of something that this guy specifically does that no other YouTuber does um, that a that reviews action figures. So there's your hint, basically. Um, but anyway, this guy was reviewing this Transformers Prime figure. And the figure was pretty lackluster. It was pretty basic and boring. It had a really, really basic, simple transformation scheme. Um, it was just, it wasn't all that great looking. And the alt mode had like exposed limbs on it and stuff. Like you could see the forearms just out in the open because of the way it transformed. It just was not a great figure. And he just would not come out and say that it was a great figure. And if you watched the review, you could tell this guy was not digging what he was reviewing or talking about, I should say, um, because I don't call it a review. It's not a review, even though the title says it's an action figure review. It, it's not. And I'll explain why as we go along. But, you know, he wouldn't say that this figure sucked. He just kept uh, he just kept talking about the packaging that the figure came in because the figure came in it was packaged the package was in the shape of the matrix of leadership and it came with a lanyard that you could attach to the box so you could basically wear this this box shaped matrix or this box shaped like the matrix around like how uh like how mega or galvatron was wearing it around his neck in the transformers animated movie back from the 80s it's basically like he spent more time talking about that than he talked about the action figure because the action figure wasn't shit it wasn't anything to talk about really so i thought it was i thought it was interesting that he did this but then at the end of the video he talks about how you know you should buy the action figure and i'm like why you don't even like the action figure and i can tell by watching the video you don't like this figure so why are you telling me to buy it when it's not when it's when you wouldn't even buy it you know you're only doing it because your job is to sell this toy because you're plugging different you know people that are sponsoring you like either it was big bad toy store or tf source i can't remember which one 
But you know, the, you know, a lot of cats out there are, you know, always plugging Big Bad Toy Store, um, and a lot of those guys are the ones that I feel do more of a showcase action figure uh, type of deal than an action figure review because they do that exactly what this guy did. They gloss over all the negative aspects of the toy, and then they. But then they talk about all the good stuff, and then they're like, "Yeah, you should totally buy this toy because I said so." Basically, uh, like I watched somebody review uh, one of the Legend of Zelda Link figures by Figma, and I, I bought Figmas in the past, and I generally, generally do like Figmas. But this particular figure was like falling apart. I think the shield fell apart, or pieces of this figure were falling apart in ways that they weren't supposed to, and. At the end of the review, and I won't say who this guy was either, but at the end of this review, the guy was like, yeah, you should totally buy it. And I'm like, but the figure fell apart on camera and you didn't edit it or anything. You left it all in there. And then you're telling me to buy it? Like, really? Why would I want to buy it? Like, maybe that was a QC issue with that particular figure. And that's a that's a highly reasonable argument. I wouldn't fight you on that if that's, what, if that's how he wanted to argue um why he told people to buy the figure you know that's fine but he didn't even say that in the in the in his quote-unquote review you know he just basically once again glossed over things that were literally happening uh to the toy that shouldn't be happening to the toy and then told you to buy the toy and so you know after watching these reviews quote-unquote reviews i decided you know what i'm gonna start doing my own reviews and i'm gonna tell the truth about these toys whether they're if they're crap i'm gonna tell you they're crap if they're great i'm gonna tell you they're great if they're in between i'm gonna tell you they're in between that's how i would want somebody to tell me something if if somebody was like hey here's a product you might like i would like them to tell me the honest truth about that product and not and not sell me a piece of crap wrapped up in a fancy box you know and that's essentially what i feel like some of these guys are doing when they talk about action figures doesn't matter whether they're good or bad they're always going to be good because they have to bring people to big bad toy store or tf source or captured prey or you know this that and the third every every major action figure website out there on the internet and you know that's fine i'm not going to knock your hustle but if you're gonna call something a review, you should actually review it. If you're gonna if you're gonna showcase something, then call it a showcase. Don't call it a review. And I think that's if they did that, then I'd be like, okay, cool. You know, I'd have no problem with it. But the fact that they're calling a showcase video a review is my big gripe. And so I was thinking the other day, I was like, you know, I have I have a lot of action figures that I bought at the time when they were released, but I never got around to reviewing them. And I was thinking to myself, well, how would I go about uh, doing reviews, but not having to spend a whole lot of time reviewing them? Because I don't want to put in the amount of time, that crazy amount of time that I do reviewing a figure, like 10 to 20 minutes, you know, no, not even that, more it's like, my videos usually average like, oh, 20 minutes and up when it comes to toy reviews. So how am I going to spend that time talking about a toy that people aren't really all that interested in, but I still want to put out some content. I still do want to review these figures in uh, some capacity. So I decided I was going to do showcase videos, but I'm going to call it a showcase. And I settled on the title, the show and tell showcase. You know what? Scratch that. At the time when I first recorded this video, that's originally what I wanted to call this showcase video format that I want to start doing. But I like acronyms and I eventually decided to change it from show and tell showcase to swag. And swag stands for stuff we all gotta get. Because, you know, back in the day, I remember when I was a kid going to kindergarten and first grade and all that, you know, we, you know, there, our teachers would have a show and tell time and everybody would bring in their favorite toy and they talk about it and they talk about why this is, you know, why they love this toy. And, you know, it's totally innocent. 
and whatever because we're kids back then and we're not trying to we don't have an ulterior motive as to why we have this toy we're not there to sell the other kids in the class on it because that means we'll get more toys or something like that no it was just these were toys that we liked and that we played with a lot and so we would talk about them in class so i figured i would do something like that with the toys that i have bought but haven't really reviewed a whole lot um didn't get a chance to review i should say and uh all the toys that i'm going to showcase in this swag showcase are toys that i would totally buy and i would never I, to me i'm not going to show you a toy in a showcase that you shouldn't buy like it and then tell you you should buy it they're all going to be action figures that i like a lot and that should be uh that i that i would buy myself and so i'm going to tell you that you know that's why i bought it you know because i liked it so much and it and it actually didn't have any glaring issues that would make me not want to buy the figure if if you, if that makes sense so um that's kind of i know it took a long time to explain something that's really kind of simple but i just really wanted to to really wanted to hammer home the difference between an action figure review and a showcase that people are calling a review and there are got there are other youtubers out there that do action figure reviews legitimate reviews you know strident's one um obviously i'm doing one obviously that's what i do here uh vangelis does really in-depth and good reviews uh bobby skullface you know he even talked about this very subject in uh comic-con paddle i don't know which comic-con it was at it wasn't i don't think it was any of the really major ones um, but it could have been i don't remember honestly but i did remember watching that segment because i think he, he showed it on his channel and i and it was funny because me and strident have talked about this extensively i think even before that comic-con panel we have talked about this very reason as to why we got into doing action figure reviews in the first place and i've told that story before about the transformers prime figure and the and the legend of zelda link figure that was falling apart the figma finger figure that was falling apart and um i feel like that's uh that even though i don't agree with everything a lot of those other reviewers say like the ones that i've mentioned i still respect their opinions because they go out of their way to give you a thorough um just a thorough idea of what this figure is and i usually watch their stuff in order to decide whether if i'm on the fence about a figure decide whether i really want to put in the money to buy something to buy it um when it when it's released so um i know there are other cats out there that do reviews like we do like uh odc that's me and i think chapman films and you know but i'm not gonna go through the whole long list you know you guys know who you are because if you watch this and you understand where i'm coming from and and the types of reviews you do are similar to the types of reviews i do then you already know so i don't feel like i don't need to give a shout out to every single body out there um but anyway that's gonna be pretty much it you know i just wanted to put this out there so that when i start doing these swag showcase you guys kind of have an idea of of why i'm doing them and why i'm calling them a showcase and not a review so that's uh pretty much gonna do it i want to keep this short and i've already gone way longer than i should have so i'm just gonna end it uh once again Leave your congratulations, leave your constructive criticism, leave your comments below in the comments section. If you haven't already subscribed and you like the content, please subscribe. Um, let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's stuff you wanna see. Let me know if there's figures you wanna see reviewed um, that I might be potentially getting or whatever. Um, you know, Your feedback helps me make my channel better and lets me put out the kind of content that, I, that you guys want to see. So, you know, like and subscribe and all that fun stuff and i will catch you guys on the next video i'm agent o and i'm out peace